As we get ready to take down and shape this tuja, before we get cracking, I thought I'd share some tips for my fellow landscapers. What you want to do, you want to remember that your clients will contact you for two particular reasons. These two reasons are either pain or pleasure. Now pain is a greater motivational factor than pleasure. Let's talk about the pain this particular client was experiencing. They wanted this large thuja tree take down to about half. So with some questioning, we were able to gather why they wanted the thuja to be taken down to about half. The pain they were experiencing was they have security cameras and the tree was hindering the view of the front of the home. So that was the major pain, the inability to see the front of the home from the security cameras. Even without the security cameras, you just they're just chilling out in the porch, it is difficult to see the front of the home. So that was the motivating factor to get this tree trimmed down. Now we could have trimmed this tree in a nice aesthetic shape, kept most of the green, but it would have we would have have to keep it fairly large. It would have been pleasurable to see. However, they would have still experienced if he did that did it that way. They would have still experienced the pain of not being able to see the front of the home. So the motivating factors mentioned was the inability to see the front of the home. So that's what we're doing here. Taking down the Thuja tree drastically to relieve that pain. Now, when we're, landscapers, when we're doing jobs for our clients, we may need to think as though we're a, a doctor or a surgeon. Here's what I mean. You would have all the experience and they may do, be doing the landscape job, the tree trimming job for the very first time. So sometimes we assume they would know all the cons of this particular job. And you never want to assume. So share your experience with them. So here's what I mean. Imagine you're a surgeon and a patient comes in for a nose job. So after we agree prior to the surgery what their nose is going to look like, what the client wants, we head in before we head into surgery, here's what we do. We say, Mr. Jones. We can do this surgery for you, but however, you must understand that on completion of the surgery, your nose is not going to look exactly as we discuss immediately after. After the surgery, you will experience some swelling for probably a couple of months before the nose actually looks the way we want it to look. You may experience some congestion. You will have some drainage issues. I know that sounds a little disgusting, but it's true. You may have some drainage issues. After the surgery, you will be in pain. We will treat you for the pain, but you will be in pain. Knowing all of these, are you still willing to go ahead with this surgery? You brief them before the surgery oh, and allow your patient to decide whether they still want to go through with it. So here, what does this have to do with landscaping? And in this particular case. Now our client stated, they wanted the tree trimmed 
to about half so they can see the front of the road, correct? So they were informed that these Toja trees, the leaves, you can see our client's hand a little bit, describing what it is he want. Well, he's testing to see where is visible in front. So we're going to have a conversation there. So continue with the story. The leaves of the Toja tree tend to be just on the tips. So if we take it down to half as you requested, the tree is going to look brown. It is going to look very woody. It will take a couple months, maybe more than a couple, for it to fully recover and you get back that green. Knowing this information, are you still willing to go ahead with the trimming of your Toja? They understood, they were like, yeah, let's move forward. So we get that out of the way. Because many times a client may ask for the trimming of the Toja, take it down half and expect it to look perfectly green, perfectly lush, just a smaller version of itself. But that's a no-no. So we basically brief them prior to the trimming, make sure they understand the possible cons. If they accept it, well, we move forward. So what we just did with the client there, you just saw his hands alone, his arms waving. He was looking on his phone to see if we got it down small enough so he can see the front of the home. So we did some a little test, put our hands in certain areas to see where needs to be taken down more, where is where we still blocking the view of the cameras. So while at this point we have the tree at a fairly good shape, it was still a bit too big. So we had to take it down a bit. Now you can see I'm having some trouble with some some of the thicker branches there. The head trimmer will have some challenges with thick. The thick woody branches so in a few moments you'll see me grab the pole so to handle those thick branches so you can use this video to help you understand if you've never done this type of job before what type of tools you will need to get this job done Now when trimming your tree like this, what you would like, what you should do is inch down, inch down, inch down, inch down. And don't get don't go too aggressively because remember if you trim it too small, we cannot take glue and put back branches. So you we inch, we inch, we inch, we inch until we get we get the size we actually looking for once we get the size we're actually looking for then you could fine tune and neaten up after the fact so the process is a fairly long process we just inch 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 in time i we may need a videographer to follow us with the camera to see all angles now you will notice we're not using the tappling to gather all the clippings, the branches below the tree at this moment. Because our client stated he has use for the clippings. So he doesn't mind if we trim and leave all the clippings right below the tree. Normally on completion of a job, we like the job to look spick and span but he says nah let's leave it there he'll handle it he wants the clippings he'll take care of it You're like cool gonna attach a pole pruner to handle some of the thicker branches When starting your pole pruner, we need to have the, the, part, the part of the chainsaw up in the air and not on the ground because you could actually start spinning. You can actually start spinning.
and it can damage your chain and damage the property. So we actually found a, an area where we could elevate the chain and get it cranking. areas we're focusing on right now that was some of the key points of the tree that was still blocking the view so you had to clear up that area a bit Trying to remove all the clippings that are still caught in the tree, it helps give a better visual and see where we still need to neaten up. They were kind enough to hand me a bottle of water. Even though I usually walk with my cooler full of stocks, the gesture was still appreciated. That simple gesture, it means a lot because your client sees you as a human being and it is, in my opinion, is a sign of respect. 
they're looking out for me. They appreciate what we're doing. They know it's hard work. They know we're working in the sun. So those gestures mean a lot. Even though the water is not needed, it, it shows more. Remember, you, you, we are humans working outside in the sun. It's, it's not an easy task. So we appreciate it. We're hoping these longer form videos, which I can see can be boring for some, but hopefully the longer form videos will help both landscapers and clients so you can see the actual process and get a feel as to how long it might the job might take. Understand the process. Now many times when we do these videos, um, the client, you will see the clients in the videos, but we edited them out. In my personal opinion, I would have loved if the clients were comfortable enough, which enough to have the conversation in front of the cameras probably not hear the conversation but i believe the the body language helps a lot you can see how you should communicate with your clients so you can see how we we work together to get on the same page Because many of these jobs, we tend to have to tweak, like in certain areas. Now, usually before the job, they will you will have a conversation with your client, and they'll be like, "Okay, this is the way we want it. This is the way we want it." But as we go along, sometimes you could see, you, you you you'll see some changes, some minor changes, some minor tweaks, maybe necessary. And those tweaks and changes take place in real time. In my opinion, it would have been nice to see how the discussion takes place. Probably not hear the words, because I don't want to get too, too intimate. But probably just see the body language, because I think the body language shows a lot. And how we, we come to the final agreement. Okay, this is what this is the direction we're going. So right now, we're still having conversations and fine-tuning. If this is what we really want. So we see in the general shape, we see any hand gestures from the client. And we're testing to see if it's still blocking the cameras. 
yeah, he's looking at it on his phone and we're testing to see what particular areas need taking down a bit. I mean, in my opinion, this shape looks lovely. I would have liked to keep it this way and just tidy it up a bit, clean up the bottom. But of course, the pain was still present. The number one goal is, is to see in front. So we're looking to take it down a bit more. The scary part, we didn't want to take it down so much until the tree looks like a a pole. We're still trying to get the, the Christmas tree look. So it has to get wider to the bottom, thinner to the top. We don't want to take it down too much and get a long skinny pole. Now feel free to let me know if you enjoy these longer behind the scenes videos. If so, we could continue to do more. Can you see the tree in the background? We still have that tree to work on after.
So we are approaching the end of the video. I believe this job took us probably three and a half hours to do the two trees. Now those three and a half hours included the blow down of the walkways. Now we didn't clean up the cuttings below the tree. So if you had to clean up, clean up then too. Now if you had to clean up and place it in garbage bags, that's a long process. A long tedious process. But no cleanups were necessary for this job. We're a few seconds away from the end of the video. If you watch this entire video, let me know. Place a comment. Like to know, get, get an idea. Who are the folks that tend to be interested in watching this long form content? Depending on the response we get, we'll continue. If not, We'll call it quits because we only want to put out stuff that people benefit from, you learn from, you grow from. So we're sharpening up the bottom right now. And this is it. Drastic takedown. Just remember our surgery analogy. Talk about the cons of doing it a certain way. But the trees will recover and look green. And probably in the future we'll show you what it looks like when it does recover. Take care, Brooms Lawn Care.